class today, we're going to be reading Curious George at the Parade app. Okay, uh, so let's get to it. Okay, good, okay. But before we get started, um, hit that, subs no, hit that like button, subscribe, and turn on those notifications. Now let's get to it. They found a place in the crowd, but an announcement had just been made. The parade will not start for a while, George, the man said. The wind is too strong for some big balloons. Let's go in the department store while we wait. George and his friend looked around the store, and they wait for the wind to settle down something. Suddenly, something strange caught George's eye. What would it be? <coughs> Excuse me. But when George looked in the windows, he didn't see anything strange. He just saw the parade. When he looked at the floats, clowns, and jugglers, and the band starting straight in the rows, then George thought there he saw an elephant eating a treat. Then George, hungry, it had been a long time since breakfast. He knew he should find a snack. That's why it here was a treat, just like what he ate in the jungle. Fresh nuts right off the tree. George was lucky to be a monkey, so he simply climbed out of the window and jumped into the tree. Then he pulled and pulled before, but but the nuts wouldn't come off the tree. They were they were they were not so fresh after all. In fact, they were not even real. But George did not know, so he pulled harder and harder. Then the tree began to sway. Suddenly, there was a loud snap. Down. Then crash, down came the tree, down came George, down came all the nuts. Luckily, George was not hurt. He did, still did not have a snack. He raced after the nuts. He chased them around the elephant and under the clouds. And then in and out of the band straight rose. My perfect rose, the band leader cried. You ruined my perfect rose. The band leader raced after George. She chased him down the street and in around the corner, but he was not quick. Where was George? Soon the band leader got tired of searching and then and then went back to straighten his rows. He did not know where the little monkey had gone. Jo George was nowhere to be found. George was not sure he had got gone either and the nuts were nowhere to be found. After all that, George lost his neck. After all that, George lost his way home. Now, how would he get back to the department store and the, back to the man with the yellow hat? Just then, a bus was stopping in the corner. George liked to ride, on, ride the bus. Maybe it could take him back to see his friend. Quickly, he hoped the bu on the bus and the, the away they went. Hopped on the bus and away they went. George, from his seat on, up on top, George could see everything. The bus rounded the corner. There was something familiar, but something was wrong. Two balloons had drifted of 
off course. Their ropes were tangled. The parade helpers were trying to fix them. A, then a crowd gathered to watch. As a bus came to a stop, someone yelled, Catch the, that monkey, he ruined our parade. It was a band leader. He was pointing right at George. George did not want to be caught, but there was no way for him to get down. There was the only one way to go. George grabbed a rope and went up. He climbed higher and higher. He was a little frightened, but he held on tight. Then he heard someone get called George. It was the man in the yellow hat. George was happy to find his friend. He, he swore, swung from rope to, rope to another, from one rope to another. He, now he felt like he was in the jungle swinging from vine to vine. Look, someone shouted from below, the monkey is fixing the balloons. Then George swung safely and the arms of the man in the yellow hat. The crowd began to cheer. There were no more tangled, no longer, the ropes were no longer tangled. When George and his friends arrived by, by, back on the sidewalk, it was time to start the parade. The band leader was no longer angry. George was a hero. Even the mayor came to meet George. I heard. You, you created quite a stir, George, he said. But at least everything's in order. Would you like to ride with me in the parade? Soon the balloons started moving. The music started playing and the bar band marched down the street in, in straight rows. And then... And there leading the whole parade was Curious George. And how did you like that book? Give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and turn on those notifications. Bye!